Alright. So I played about an hour of this um, last night when it first came out. Um, I kind of just wanted to get a good sense of the starting area, kind of figure out the character builder and stuff. Um, figure out what the gifts were. And then kind of just get a little lay of the land for how the game is going to set you up before I really dive in. But that was just a test character, a couple of test characters. Um, Perhaps you've seen it. Maybe in a dream. A murky, forgotten land. I love how dingy and wet this intro is. A place where souls may mend your ailing mind. You will lose everything once branded. The symbol of the curse. An augur of darkness. Your past, your future, your very light. None will have meaning, and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls. A hollow. Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. flame. Your wings will burn in anguish. Time after time. For that is your fate. The fate of the cursed. What I really like about that intro is that uh, it's very Greek epic. Very much you have to go to the. go find a Sybil who tells you how to get to the underworld.
Alright, so just me and a bunch of uh, phantoms here, I guess. What do we got there? Hmm. So we got our appropriate little, appropriately new classical little portico here. Uh, and then kind of uh, complementary stalactites. Yeah, so like I was saying, I've spent about an hour with the game to figure it out. I haven't really explored this area a whole lot, but I kind of know where some stuff is. I hadn't seen that before. Let's look at that. Can I get that? I don't get that. Oh, here we go. Oh, I have to drop off. Smooth and silky stuff. Oh. So this is where we're going to get to uh, Snuggly. Or Silky, or whatever the hell. See what uh, she has given her. <laughs> what seems to be the ruckus? Oh my, your face. The face of the curse. It's an undead. An undead has come to play. <laughs> they all end up here. All the ones like you. You spoke to that kind old dear, didn't you? <laughs> You're finished. You'll go hollow. Yes, you will become one of them. Hollows prey upon men, feast upon their souls. This is the fate of the cursed. <laughs> Go with the uh, name I had earlier. It is a. Uh, I always go with poo-related puns in my or names in my RPGs, just because the games usually take themselves so seriously that. It's always kind of funny to screw with that. <laughs> and a uh, Greek name seems appropriate for the uh, Greek epic thing we got going on, so. Here's your reward for sharing. It's a human effigy. Well, it's like half Take one. Take a closer look. Do you think it's supposed to be? Think back deep into your past. Yes, it's an effigy of you. All right. Well, um, first things first. Class. My first character I went with Knight, but you can see down there 
the first set is 13, and that's your soul level. It seemed really kind of absurdly high to me. And I'm not a big fan of letting the game kind of do that. I, I like being soul level 1 when I start these. So I'm actually going to go deprived. And one thing is kind of weird and different about the gifts compared to the last games is that uh, most of them are consumables. Like this one I picked because it said inedible so it didn't sound like it was a, uh, like a consumable item, but it actually is. So you got the petrified something that you don't know what it's good for, which is probably a good sign, and the life ring. Which kind of just boosts your overall HP, I guess. Um, that sounds like what the ring in uh, the Dark Souls actually did, despite the fact of how it lied to you. So I'm gonna go with the Petrified something. That seems like that's gonna open up more content later. I'm not really that worried about the life ring. If I die, I die. It's Dark Souls. So I'm gonna go Petrified something. Come here to advanced settings. Actually. Uh, what do we got? I always also tend to make weird freakish characters. Ah. The weird giant head. Let's go with a bit muscular. I'm gonna make a big Speaking of monsters, that is kind of terrifying. Alright, is there a random... I thought there was a random option. Yeah, there we go. Let's start with a random. Oh, I like this. It's going to give me like a list of options here? That's fantastic. It's just going to take a while to populate them, apparently. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> also give me a clown apparently. Is she cross-eyed? No, that's actually not bad there. I might, I might go with that one and then modify it. The preview just looks like she's cross-eyed. Alright, let's go with that one. And then... Oh god, the weird skin color. Oh, well, she's gonna be Greek, I guess. We'll make her tan, but not fake bronzer. Maybe a little older, she's a veteran. Also, she's been undead for a while. Uh, let's give her a chin, too. That's as old as we can make her look. It doesn't... Also, apparently, feminine faces are huge and chunky. Go a little narrow. I have no idea what this means. <laughs> oh, that, whoa, holy shit. Make her a weird Zelda character. Yeah, let's go with human on that one. I guess. Can we get her a human color? Alright, was it just a skip down here? I think this is just the face. Let's go back one. Maybe two? Yeah, I kind of like that. Look a little bit of a sunburn look. She's been out there a while. Yeah, 
again. Weird bronzer. That's also a weird yellow color. Some sort of human color, please. I guess that'll do. Yeah, there we go. Let's get the orange out of there. That's not really helping a whole lot. I just made her green. Purple? This... This is not going well. Especially with the weird mouth, it isn't going the same color as everything else. That's a little more. She is sunburned as shit, apparently. How about we get those to blend in a little bit? Wait. There we go. Laugh lines, what are those? Okay, that's a weird. That was a little more human. Put them at medium, shall we? Maybe a little darker. Alright. Let's get a good practical haircut here. I mean, short hair is probably pretty practical, but that's weird hair. I'm not gonna be a monk. It's not really practical. That's pretty reasonable there, but it's pretty much the exact same hairdo I used on my last character. So let's try something different. Yeah, that one's not bad. I'm not sure how that would quite work under a helmet, though. No, I'm definitely not going with pigtails. That would definitely not work under a helmet. That's a little long to be practical, but it might be the best. Yeah. All right, go with that. Let's give it a weird hair color. What do we got? No, I don't want it to blend straight into her flesh. I think my last character had a hair about that color, so it'd be the opposite of that. Blonde. Mm. I like that. Maybe make it a little darker. Um, make that a little more. That's not making it whiter. That's just. Longer, not wider. <laughs> Alright, is this what we need to? Oh, that's alright. She looks fine from the front, but facial width a little wider. There we go. Make sure to look a little bit older. There we go. Wait, wouldn't sharp roundness be more round? What the hell is this? Yeah. I 
Uh, let's get her a chin. Is that affecting the nose? That looks all right. Maybe we get her a little bit wider. Eyebrows look all right. Look all right, but the color need to get out. I wish she looks a lot younger than she did before. Hmm. Again, let's bring this in a little bit. I think we can make it give it a little bit of a sour look. She is better natural. Yeah. Yeah, let's get her. Perfect. Now she looks even younger. Let's give her a tattoo, too. Not um, many options. Change of color, can't see anything. Horse. It's a big red dot. Good Triska line. A little maiden, mother, and crone thing going here. But. Let's see if we can kind of make it. Like skin tone. I think it's a scar or something. And then we'll change the opacity after we change the position. Put it on this side. Oh, where we go? There we go. Yep. Put it there. Upside down, probably not. Get ten smaller. That's too small. Also, change the angle. What the hell? All right, and then we'll drop the opacity. I think I should go with the big head. That looks a little more natural. Alright. 
Got a weird semi freaking nature. Mostly because of her horrendous muscles. Break the curse. You're no different, I should think. Doesn't stand a chance. Keep it up and I'll kill you all. Oh, I suppose I have no idea if I'm going to be becoming the Dark Lord at the end of this game. And trot along to the kingdom. But remember, hold on to your souls. They're all that keep you from going hollow. Oh, I'll fool you no longer. You lose your souls. All of them. Over. And over yeah, again. that's probably true. <laughs> but I can also probably get a few Firekeeper souls too. <clears throat> Ladies. So don't get too taunty. Alright, I'm deprived. So I've got nothing but a weird milk mustache. This is a limbo. A link between Drunglaic and the Fair Traveler. Why else would you visit this lost? My name is Millibeth. The old women were once fire keepers. Yeah, so keep it up and I am here to like lose my S's class off over your dead bodies. It is what my mother did. The old women would but now. And the kingdom is bes the old women are sisters. I am told there was a fourth. Long ago, fire keepers. So is the fourth one the one that sent me here? But now they are lost. I'm guessing. <laughs> you must go on a journey. Well, I suppose if you find yourself at an arm party. But if you will to start again. <laughs> well, I got faster at least. Probably don't have any weapons. What if my rags have any lore? Well, I can't use these? Why can I not? Oh, because I don't have anything yet. Quit at all. So you don't actually even have rags. What do we got? Human effigy. Well, I'm already human because of the one she gave me. Wait, is the implication that you can use human effigies? Outside of bonfires? I don't think it's how that works. Hmm. Bonfire lit. This little explosion going off of it. Travel. So we got 12. 16 places to travel? I don't know why the ones at the bottom are different. Maybe those are merchants? That looks like a little merchant tent or something. No spells. I can burn an effigy. And I can deposit items. Do I have item encumbrance? I don't think that I do. I have equip encumbrance. And no stats. The shield of health. I don't quite see right. I feel like my other character only had like 600 or something. But that might have been before I actually picked the class. Alright, let's get a weapon. Alright, so how do we actually equip a torch?
if I may actually use that to level up. Hmm. Pleasant to touch. That is a petrified human heart, isn't it? Hmm, so this is you can separate yourself from uh, invaders and whatnot. I guess they end summons as well. Well, I feel like these two items are going to be. I'm not going to be using them if I just accept that I'm getting invaded. It don't run away like a punk. Thought I had some life gems. Really not. Two hundred souls. That enough to level up? I can't level up here. Probably shouldn't use that. What do we got? Can I burn a torch? I cannot. Alright, well, I have no clue how to use the torch that I got then. Alright, let's go back and explore this area. There was one, one path that I found but did not go down. And then there's this other path here. Maybe not there. Over here that leads to a troll. If I can run up and grab that item and then run away. Although it was just pine resin, I'm not sure if it's worth it. Run! For God's sake, run! Alright, what do we got here? I don't think that guy can get through. So we'll drop off. Yeah. Alright, then I found this path that I have not been down. We're here by the monkeys, which hopefully they do not attack me. Because they kind of rough me up. And I don't have a weapon. Let's just keep moving. Stalactite. What do we got? Rusted coin. What does that do? Hmm. Lucky coin. Let's move on. I don't really trust these monkeys. Ooh, it's this way. Oh, this is, oh, this is the way I went to the patrol. Over there. Didn't really look like it. Alright, so what do we got? We got a bunch of stalactites, which implies we're in stalactites or in a cave. I guess some kind of dome thing? And we got a bunch of Yodas that live in the hut. That are probably sisters of the fake Sybil that sent me here. Torch, but I cannot light those. And I have no weapon. Let's get a fist. Not 
Two of these guys just have fists as well. If there's any advantage to alternating punches in a rhythm or something. I'm a bit dubious. Just, all right. Got a backside that I can't really see. So we can do that. Oh, never mind. We don't get to see it. Hey, it's another uh, typo troll thing. Backstab this guy. Oh, did I stick my hand in his butt? I did. That's weird, dude. Yeah. I'm not sure if uh, Dark Souls 1 ever actually shows you how to do a backstab. I'm gonna take a while to use to. Uh, the fact that the inventory and equip screens are swip switched in the menu there. We got a little weapon now. We'll probably take a bow. Or you know a real weapon. That'd be nice too. I was all two handed, I guess. <laughs> two hand my dagger. What do we got? Backstep. Oh, we got an archer. Whoa, that, that arrow curved. What the fuck is that? Oh, sweet. You can. Oh, you can't read him anymore. Um, I heard bad enough to do that. It's called mist now instead of fog. I think it was called mist in, in Demon Souls. Alright. You, you, give it move. Let's take forever to actually figure out how to drop something. Thing. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Good night. Good night. Yeah, yeah. Silky smooth. You, you. Give us smooth. All right. Do I still have to quit out? No. Is that an upgrade item? Use it with dark. Alright, so we still have tight night. This is a different kind. Milfy and magic. So that's different than Seath's magic and uh Lucille. Oh, whoops. Wow. That hurt. Alright, where's my life gem? Actually, it might be worth it to just to... 
die somewhere convenient. What do we got here? Let's just go back to the bonfire? No. So apparently we get oh, we get our orange soap on the sign here fairly quickly. This goes back to the bonfire. So stay here and jump off. Counts as a death, but we get to keep our souls. Alright, well. Let's go get our souls and then go get a soapstone. Did I lose any of my maximum health there? Let's get a shield too, even if it's wooden. There, well, at least my super powerful dagger is enough to stagger these guys. More cave. Alright. Perfect. Let's not fall off. Amber herb. Probably not ever going to be relevant for me. Yes, that's much better for jumping. Where you kind of had to do it and pray a little bit before. Oh, don't go on the right. Alright, so. This must be where you get the soapstone if other people have signs up there. surroundings. This thing? Ow. Bastard. No surroundings. No. Is this going to be a drop down? It looks like it. Ah. Maybe I wasn't supposed to. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, damn. Wait, I'm not dead. But I don't have the ability to use life gems. So I'm probably dead. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Alright, am I safe? Alright, so that is not an instant heal. It only does, eh, it does most of my health. I wonder if that's a percentage, or if that is... Goddamn. Like, if I have lost more health from a death, if it'll do the same percentage, or if it'll actually fill my health bar. That'll be something to keep an eye out for. 
Swing there. You helping out? Thanks, buddy. Oh, yeah, shortcut. I will say that one of the things I was kind of worried about from the little that I actually saw of this game before now that, uh, a little worried that some of the video and screenshots that I saw, the environments look a little too abstracted. One of the things I loved about the original Dark Souls is how kind of real and lived in a lot of the stuff feels. You know, ostentatious and kind of obviously very art directed, but also relatively plausible within the world that they create. So I hope that that keeps up. And I mostly say that so that I can hopefully have my fears dispelled later, but I have a record of kind of what I was af afraid of coming in. The other thing that I've heard is that certain enemies respawn a limited amount of times. Um... Which I guess I'm fine with. Um, it works really well for preventing any kind of grinding. Or at least major grinding. But also, I mean, come on. Raw for Master. Alright, that's a good one. Alright, did I miss? Did I miss the stove zone? A Jula. Alright, this is pretty cool. The beach. Got some mountains. Can't fall off. We got a rag stuck in a tree. Yeah, this is cool, but I'm gonna go back and check. Make sure that I didn't miss the soapstone. Or there's a ladder down where I kick the uh, log thing down. Any lizard walls. Oh, is this the crack in the cave? I mean, ah, okay, it goes through. I guess. I'm gonna have to turn around and make sure I can see what the hell. There's gotta be. Right, that guy's there. What is he protecting? And why get him to get stabbed in the back? No, I'm right. Why can't I use a torch? How to use a torch. Alright, can I get back out if I drop down there? Yes. I can. Holy shit. Never mind. Alright, let's go back outside. I'll get back here later. Oh, don't walk out the edge. Looks like we can warp back to that bonfire, so. I'm not gonna waste my time being one of the crazy people just to try to beat those right now. I'll come back to those later. I'm not gonna have a rolling to fight those guys at the moment. I need a good sturdy shield, a good heavy weapon. Because at the moment I have no shield. Alright, what do Alright, so it's just a mountain. That isn't tall enough to accommodate what ceiling was actually shown. 
What is this? There's probably gonna be a troll back here, isn't there? This looks like this might be the next area. And the weird transparency going on. It's a little unnerving. Well. Divine Blessing. Isn't that an old item? Yeah. Never use in Dark Souls 1. I have no idea why. It seems like that would be useful. But I also do not remember having very many of them. It's a little camp. This is a weird message because of what he was able to actually put in. Is that a blood stain? It is. Who did this guy start a fight with? Is there kind of some kind of master swordsman up here that he started something with? Smooth. Is that a troll? Who are you? Oh, it doesn't matter. Just help me open this door. I packed my tools in here, seeing it was vacant. But now somebody's gone and locked the door. I don't have a key. Yeah. So you're a blacksmith. I'm a blacksmith. I'm nothing without my tools. Bring me that key. Chop. I'm a blacksmith. Bring me that key. Chop, chop. Fuck you, buddy. I do like the fact that they kind of went the opposite direction of Andre. Where Andre was kind of your safe guy. He was your safe place that you could go to. Kind of even more than Firelink. I mean, there was a bonfire right there. He was always really nice to you. He really didn't want you to go to Hollow. This guy's kind of more in the uh, Demon Souls asshole style. Alright, I still can't level up as a bonfire. Do you just walk right off the edge? Yeah, you just walk right off the edge. That's pretty good view. Is that a big tower back there? Big ass tower. That's pretty sweet. Alright, a little disoriented. Alright, so architecture. This is. kind of Roman. Maybe like a late Roman Byzantine type of thing. Kind of bordering on a bit gothic. Here. This is an actual blacksmith that. Why can't he use these tools? One second, buddy. Gotta explore first. Make sure no traps. Hey, yeah, Titanite Shard. But you can't roll on this stuff? Alright, I'm actually very disappointed in. Oh, that's how you hold down. Or slide down, I guess. 
Very disappointing the lack of destructibility. Uh, oh. Maybe it's a performance uh, thing. Hello there. W welcome to my uh, shop. I'm Morlin. And I, well, I sell armor. Oh, sorry, I... Please do have a look at my wares. This going hollow. I could really, really together. use the business. If you'd be so kind. I wonder if you'd do more business with him if he, uh... I came from the west, from Volgan. Have you been there? It's a lively place, vibrant with trade. Very competitive, of course. And you have to grease the wheels to get anywhere. But I didn't have the funding for that, so I left home in hopes of striking gold. So I can wait hollow, or is he just terrified of me? It's been years since then, and I've... <laughs> Well, I've made very little headway. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm still here. Everything's all run down and dying. It's t terrible for business, really. Yeah, this guy's hollowing. I bet he's gonna not be here at a certain point. What do we got? Small shield and great shield. Hey. 20 strength, I'm not gonna have that. I'm probably not even gonna have 10 strength anytime soon. Oh wow, even the Great Shield doesn't have 100% physical. What do we got here for? We got physical, okay, magic, fire, lightning, dark. Poison bleed. Okay, so it actually services more of the poison and bleed resistance for your equipment. Petrify. Is that like curse? <laughs> Apparently not. AD seems really low compared to the first Dark Souls and especially since alright so for me I think most relevant stuff is going to be physical attack poise damage, stability and then mostly probably these top four what kind of armor do you have? What does a B mean? So just B armor? What the hell? Attribute bonus. Is there a physical defense stat? There is. That seems like that would be a recursive thing where the higher physical resistance is, the higher your thing that boosts your physical resistance boosts. That Seems weird. Lightning defense. Sentinels have gained much power in Volgan. You can't even run a shop without their blessing. A little less hollow now. They claim to be working for the greater good, oh, but it's absolute hogwash. So we've got the blue sentinels that are mafia. 
Actually, I can take some notes, I think. So what do we got? We got the moth linen armor from from Volgan. Got the blue sentinels. Who are the mafia and Volgan? What's he got? Oh, by the gods, why the hell am I here? Oh, by, the gods, say, why the hell am I here? Well, I, I, well, I do hope I see you again. All right, so if he's the armorer, the, this guy, I don't think I got his name, if he even told me. I am a blacksmith. He has not told me. He must be the weaponsmith. I like that. Should be able to jump in there. Or surely he can climb in there. Oh, hello. We got a soul. Let's go ahead and equip those life gems. Just have them handy. Destroy on what? A lot of blood stains around here. Let's see this one. Somebody's been fighting a lot. Yeah, it's a very Roman. A very neat thing going on. Kind of got the Roman city walls, the Roman arch. Uh, the buildings are not quite, I mean, they're a little provincial. And we got the huge aqueduct you can see in the back there. That is a huge fucking hole in the ground. Is there a lighter? I do not see a ladder. So can you only... You can only rate, you can't rate up or down? Hmm. Let's try not to fall in there. Somebody died on the doorstep. Definitely got a bit of a Nexus vibe going on here. Oh, holy shit. What the fuck are you? You guys are strong as shit. Fuck off. Hey, I like that. Let's back up. I need a real weapon. Please. time please please don't back me to the pit of despair Jesus can't hit him either yeah they're gonna kill me can I run away To the bonfire, real quick, then. Let's set him. Got an SS flash shard. Check that out, too. 
Gonna burn that? No. Hmm. I like that. It's like a bit of a pieces of heart thing going on. And the little well thing there makes me think there's going to be a few more puzzles in this game. What do we got here, dead body? You know, there's a bunch of dead bodies. And a guy claiming that he locks his stuff in that house. Pretty tough looking dude. I bet that he is not what he claims to be. This is gonna be trapped, isn't it? Booby trapped. What the hell's that? Yeah, this is this is weird. Because you're gonna have to find an item here. Put it in, this thing's gonna spin around, you're gonna get this. This is really bizarre for Dark Souls. It's so much more like a regular Zelda game. And I know some people really say that it's very important that Dark Souls does not have puzzles, but I kind of wish that it did. So this is really kind of cool. Because I don't think it's going to be less Dark Souls, but it's going to be more other stuff, too. Parma. That's a parrying shield, I think? Yeah. No. I don't think, maybe? It's better than nothing. Got a real sweet barbarian look going on. Is this can I do anything? That water looks awful. Oh, I can actually come in. the message go? I can't roll into me. Alright, I gotta say, I really kinda like this. It's definitely really weird. But it's so different. That's kinda the main thing that I really wanted out of... Uh, Dark Souls 2, was that... The nice thing about demons versus the first Dark Souls is that they're so different that you can... You can actually go back to demons after you play Dark Souls, which is what I did. And it can, you can still do it because they're so different. And I, I really want Dark Souls 1 to be able to survive on its own. And not kind of be... <laughs> not kind of be... Kind of one-upped by demons doing stuff like dual wielding and stuff that you just can't do in Dark Souls 1 alright so I got a shield I need a weapon can I push that thing over? Drink tears bravery Victor Stone. Let's see what's on this corpse first. Homeward Bone. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to join a bunch of covenants and then leave them. Where'd you go? 
these roll off. Yeah, he is quite right. Um, because I don't want to accrue all the sins for. It. Took a little bit of a dive there. This open? This does open. Anyone in? Anyone home? Not quiet. Maybe I'll make this my house. Uh, weird falling physics. Oh, there's someone here. Sorry. Wait, that's a dog. Oh, undead, are we? Oh, it's one of the cats from. And one without much time remaining. Yeah, some close to going Just about ready to fall apart, I'd say. Bullshit. Not exactly the time to be chatting with a cat. <laughs> Forest Covenant cat. Well, suit yourself. Oh yes, you may call me Shalqua. Enchanté. So. What did you want, anyway? Ooh, you smell wonderful. Is she a shapeshifter, <laughs> or is she a weird... ...predator? We don't end a covenant. Okay. Ah, uh, what do we got here? We got rings. Uh, that's not super expensive. That is. Hmm. I can kind of see that useful for... Well, one of the items that you can start with is the item that makes it so that, uh... Enemies will attack... Phantoms. So you can use that to draw enemies to you. That would have the, you know, that way the if the phantom is near you, they'll come. That's cool, but this is the PlayStation, so no one has voice chat. That would be cool, but I don't know what. Gods to choose. Hmm. Over bone. A little more expensive than before. I've never used these in any Souls game. Never used one of those either. And Lloyd's. So let's look for the ring. Got the engraved ring. And the silver cat. And then I guess the eagle eye. Oh, that's a four, not a one. Okay, that's more expensive than I thought. Let's talk. This place is already dead. Everything will crumble and waste away so that something new may be born. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> This place is fascinating. We receive only the most peculiar visitors. Folk like yourself. It's enough to keep even a cat amused. <laughs> Why don't you look at me? Is that keyboard cat? Is that a fucking keyboard cat joke? That is a keyboard cat joke, I bet. Are you going to see the old ones? Old ones? Uh, Those four who no. have grown so incredibly ancient. They, for heaven's sake, no one even knows their names anymore. There's only three now because the other one sent me to them. Imagine that. <laughs> yes, nothing like yourself. For you have a most pleasant scent that grows nicer with each passing day. We've been here for like two minutes. <laughs> Have you made friends with the man by the sea? No. He has lost everything. Apps 
absolutely everything. That was a hollow. <laughs> is that who killed all those guys? The only thing he's good for now is a few tidbits on covenants. Covenants are a type of, well, contract, you might say. You give something to gain something. That's the way humans like it, right? How do cats like it? It might be just the thing you need. But what does a cat know? <laughs> Did you see that oddly formed rock behind here? Long ago, they called it Victor Stone, as I recall. If you wish to face greater challenges, hmm. speak to the rock. So make the game harder? Although, you'd just as well not. <laughs> this place is already... Everything will crumble and waste away. Isn't it all? This place is fat. We receive only the most peculiar... It's yeah. enough to keep even... No, Are you right. going to though? For heaven's sake, imagine yes. Will you have a Alright. Nothing suited you, I presume. Well that's just We got the fucking weird little pigs over there. That... Oh fuck off. All of you. I can't hit him. Oh. Seriously. Come on. Alright, fine. Jesus. You still coming? Alright, I'll reset a bonfire and reset your ass. So that place is locked. So armor locked. Weird cat. Shield. Nothing. Nothing. Victor Stone. Guy that claims he's a weaponsmith. Can I get a better look at this guy? He looks like a troll. Or a goblin. No, looks like it's everything for now. So let's go up here. You're undead, aren't you? Hey, Chris Vaughn. You have that distinct scent. The smell of irreversible fate. This is Majula. It is a kind of settlement. A place where life is almost normal. And in Drang Lake these days, there are very few places like that. I am Solden. And like you, I lost everything, and now I'm here. You probably heard that it was possible to break the curse here. Well, that's not true at all. <laughs> There's nothing here for you, me, or anybody. Do you know much about souls? Even I'm not certain, but I'm told that the soul is the essence of life itself. Anything living, sentient or no, supposedly has one. What we call the curse is traceable to the soul. Do you see what that means? To be alive, to walk this earth. That's the real curse, right there. We undead will never die. And that's quite a predicament, really. So he says that the uh, curse is linked to your soul.
but that's going to be relevant at some point. There are four beings in this land with giant souls. Hmm. And wherever you go from here, you'll sooner or later hmm. come up against them. Each has a powerful soul and a terrible curse. A different curse? If that frightens you, then you ought to just give so up. So we got right four now. Lord Souls. Like I have. <laughs> Presumably different lords. Different Do curses. You ever cry out for help. The journey of an undead is long and treacherous. You'll face invaders from other worlds at every turn. If you need help, why not proclaim faith in the Blue Sentinels? When you face danger, the Blue Sentinels know, the Blue will come the to mafia. your Protection is Or is either guy an invader? If you wish. You need only accept their kind embrace. <laughs> No. I see. Then you'll have to brave this no. treacherous journey on your own. Covenant of if the you Meek. Ever require help. Come back anytime. I will stay here and pray for your safety. Now oh, I. Let's see if I can actually see that. Because I said no, I do not want to join. That's a decent one. Do you feel it suits me just fine? It will grow on you this Welcome. Do you see the way beyond the bonfire? That will take you to the forest of the giants. Great. There was once a great fort. Look, little of it. And I have a dagger. You may just find up. something there that will be of use, but don't venture too far inside. Hade's Tower of Flame lies beyond the far gate. In the cathedral, the apostles of blue gather. But the road leading there is perilous. The gate is rigged with some contraption. But how it works, I just don't know. So here does the Tower of Flame. And something about blue people. But not the blue sentinels. That pit, that gaping hole in the earth. Wait, what pit? Oh. I don't know what it's like down below, but I wouldn't suggest trying to find out. Besides, you will never make it down there. Not without a ladder of some sort. The flame you see there is a bonfire. They exist all across the land, beacons to we undead. If you are tired, try resting beside the flame. The flame heals us. Long ago, a woman called the Fire Keeper watched over each bonfire. She kept the flame lit and guarded it from those who would extinguish it. I wonder where the Fire Keepers went. They're all in the house. Alright, this... I hadn't really considered that they were all women before, but given the weird classical nature of this game, at least so far, it really kind of stands out because that's a very Hestia type of thing. She was the goddess of the hearth, and she, that was very much the one of the premier... Uh, gods that the women would pray to because they would always make sure that they kept the hearth going. Did you notice any letters on the ground on the way here? 
These are messages that have jumped the fissures between worlds. In Dram Lake, the flow of time is convoluted. Things shift and waver, twist and turn. Poignant wishes, touched dreams, the messages convey are very <laughs> inner thoughts. If your will to soldier on falters, try moving a message. Somebody out there is sure to listen. So I wonder if you actually get something for leaving messages now. You may notice symbols that appear upon the ground. These are summon signatures. They call upon spirits from other worlds through the tutorial here. time. If you fear hollows, find some signatures to call upon spirits to help you. Do you see the way beyond the bonfire? That will take you to the forest of the giants. That was what some great fort, but little of it remains. Is that the fort? There is no You may just there. find something there that will be of use on your journey. But don't venture too far inside. Alright, so don't go too far. The but... Tower of Flame lies beyond the far gate. In the cathedral, the Apostles of Blue Apostles gather. Of Blue. Wait, is that guy's name just Hades? Is perilous. The gate is rigged with some contraption. But how it works, I just don't know. May you find peace on your so it's kind of an underworld, and the first place that I go is Hades, basically. Praise the sun, fuck yeah. Oh, I can't believe they left that in. No? So how the hell do I level up? Oh, there's someone down there. There's also something in that rock. It's just sunlight. So always you guys try to kill Chris Wall guy. How do I get my soapstone? I want a soapstone. I need that in the uh Hello. Are you the next one? Probably. Or merely a pawn of fate. Probably also that. Bearer of the curse. I will remain by your side till this frail hope shatters. Why? Take this with you. May it ease your journey. Go on and see the king. What king? He who made Drang Lake what it once was. He who peered at the essence of the soul. King Vendry. Alright, that's kind of weird that it just pops up a thing to tell you that you can level Bearer up with her. of the curse, seek misery. For misery will lead you to greater, stronger souls. Hmm. You will never meet the king with a soul so frail and pallid. I kind of like that. Seek those whose names are unutterable. The four endowed with immense souls. Their souls Unnatural. will serve as beacons. Once you have found them, return here to me. So that hope will not fade away. I don't quite trust Is you. Is that a shard you found? Here, let me see it, so that I may help you to see light, to see hope, however faint it might be. All right, so I need to go find the four Lord Souls and come back to the Emerald Herald. And ultimately, I need to go find the old king.
because he looked in the uh, essence of the soul, or the soul. And as the other guy said, that probably has something to do with the curse. And so far I don't seem to be chosen or anything. Well, it did say Pawn of Fate, which has me a little bit worried. And other people made allusions to the fact that I'm just kind of some of another guy. Doing this. Alright, so let's upgrade the Estus. That'll give me two, I think. Yes. Wow. Oh, wow. 500. So, what is strength gonna do? Tiny boost in HP. That's a tomb, I don't need that. Vitality. Is equip load. What happens if I. Because there is some kind of. There's a agility stat. How do we get that up? I wonder. No, and there's gonna boost poise as well. Attunement boosts agility. That's weird. You can actually get cast speeds down? Dexterity will do poison and bleed resistance. Okay, so it's adaptability. Yeah, the raises everything. Might actually be worth putting some points into. Magic defense and attack. So lightning is faith. As is fire. So magic, fire, and dark. Alright, well... How much HP did that give me? Oh, a good amount. Souls, 800. All right. Oh, don't back off the ledge like an idiot. Bearer of the seek soul, seek the king, lest this land swallow you whole. Let's get my strength up, shall we? Over the hill and past the forest is the king's castle. I think. Where a man peered yeah. straight into the essence of the soul. But whatever came of it. Those who come to Drang Lake seeking salvation soon lose hope and turn hollow. It happens to them all, sooner or later. That blue knight at the base of the tower. His spirit is already broken. Because he's a chump. Although he does offer sound advice. Perhaps he is a foreshadowing of your own future. Nope. Alright. That tiny thing inside the ruins. Hmm? An ancient being that will mock your very existence. She imparts sound wisdom. Provided you find her on a good day. The cat. The sign you bear 
will drain your very souls. And without souls, you will turn hollow. Stay strong. Do not lose hope. Even when you have precious little time. For when the undead dies, it is never truly dead. But not all but I can only ever do fifty percent hollow. But all hollows were once undead. If you find an Estus shard, so that I may ease over the hill right. where a man peered straight into the essence of this but whatever. Let's get rid of the bonfire. And I guess we have to go head into that forest kind of direction that I was going. I don't really see any other way to go. Don't have a key for that guy. Still can't quite figure out this thing. Victor Stone. I bet that's for people that invade. Either people that invade or people that go protect. No, because that would be the Blue Sentinels. And this guy. Is a gem. Have you seen that? I. This. The flame used. They exist. If you are to the flame. Talk about that long ago. ago. She kept the flame. I wonder why. The, did you notice any letters? These Indra coin. If you're. You may notice these are summon signatures. If you. Do you see the way beyond? There was once some great you may, but don't. Hades Tower of Flame in the cathedral. The up, but the road, the gate, but have it. Have you seen that? All right, I don't well, know what it's I seem to have exhausted everything here. In a rush. Let me come back down. I said the bonfire, and I'll probably call that for, for now. Wait, what is this? Ah, uh, this is where I'm supposed to go. Alright. Chest ahead. That's a chest for sure. <laughs> Our offer chest. Did a mimic. It's heavy as shit, apparently. What do we got? A sword? No, another coin. Big door. What did that just open up? You did say the weed beyond the bonfire. This way. Mm -hmm. oh, where the fuck am I now? This is nuts. I bet I'm not supposed to be here. There's an item down there, though. There's a bunch of souls there. Enemies. Oh, maybe this isn't where I'm supposed to go. It's maybe on the bonfire. Hmm. 
with the GR, right? I bet I can jump that. And I can. Fuck like, yeah. More bow and other souls so I can get a level up again. I can figure out how to get back. Now let's safely turn right around. Yeah, this is this is where I'm supposed to go, not that other way. That other way was the way to the castle or whatever. A huge tower, I think. Again, I don't know why they. It seemed like the other way is very much. Why did this close? Maybe level loading or something. Um. You know the hardest thing about. Dark Souls 1 was everyone always went to the graveyard first. Through. Uh, instead of going up to the bird. Well, now it kind of feels like they might have done basically the same thing by having that little path that I went down a little bit. Maybe that was a dead end. Maybe the guys there are just super tough. This is a little more apparent than. The path up to the bird was, but still decently hidden. Bearer of the curse. Less. Oh no, I didn't use my soul. Let's fix that real quick. Perfect. I'm not gonna have a lot of excess. Bearer of seek seek the lest this le No, nope, wrong one. Oh look. Let's get which one is stamina endurance. Yeah. This is gonna be physical defense. Well, a marginal amount of stamina. Bunch of health, more strength. It doesn't actually even level up my attack. Lame. All right, do endurance. Actually, is there a luck stat? Is it key says it levels up your luck? I like how it breaks down your offense and defense. Over there on the right. But now I'm not seeing a luck. It's like a hidden stat or something. Also, there's music. I suppose there's music in Firelink. This is a little more, a little more ethereal than that, but because of that, it's a little more unnerving. It's, it's the whole of the game has this weird, distant feel to it, where because I played about half a Demon Souls, maybe a little bit more, yeah, about half a Demon Souls, and I've beaten Dark Souls. Like the mechanics and stuff. Like I'm used to everyone being all standoffish and stuff, but I'm not used to the game kind of feel like it's pulling itself back too. Because the game is always so straightforward and high fidelity and honest with itself in Dark Souls. It just is what it is and it put that very forward. This is really pulling that stuff back. And by that stuff in Dark Souls, what I mean is that, you know, it was obviously obfusc obfuscating a lot of stuff, especially mechanics and story, but... The stuff that was there 
felt like it was there. This stuff feels like any of us could change it at any moment and I could never see it again. I guess in Dark Souls you just don't know anything? And this feels like it's telling me more up front. But because I know about Dark Souls, I trust it way less. Whereas the first game, I just didn't know if any of this stuff was actually going to matter. And it didn't really matter, therefore it didn't really matter if I was never going to see it again or anything. Because I had no context to go off of. Anyway. I'm going to go ahead and uh, call for now.